If you're sick of traveling with no mouse at all, or if you're sick of traveling with a mouse that's a little bit too loud and clicky, then I might have a solution for you. This is the Logitech Pebble Mouse, a very simple mouse that might just be your perfect travel companion with one caveat. Let's get into it. Starting with the positives, this mouse is super small, super light, and super simple. Despite its compact design, it's still more or less a full-size mouse, which for me is huge, especially when you compare it to some really tiny, compact travel mice that are nearly impossible to use. The Pebble Mouse comes in several interesting colors, though the availability of those colors seems to be a little bit inconsistent. I really love this light blue color, but right now you can only find it on Amazon. You can definitely find a standard black and white version from Logitech pretty much anywhere, but if you find another color that you're interested in, you might want to jump on it before it disappears. The mouse features Logitech's Silent Clicks technology, which they claim reduces the sound of clicks by as much as 90%. I'm not doing it scientifically, but it sure seems like a 90% decrease to me. Here's a quick comparison. The silent clicks are matched by an equally as quiet scroll wheel, which makes this a really compelling travel companion for both its size and how quiet it is. When you compare it to larger mice, this thing will fit just about anywhere, and you'll be quiet when you get to your destination. So when you roll up to the coffee shop to get a little work done, your neighbors will thank you. The top panel is removable and held on by some very satisfying magnets. Underneath, you'll find a single AA battery that's capable of an advertised 18 months of use, and also a slot for a USB dongle. Depending on which version you get, you may or may not have one of those included. We'll talk more about that and connectivity in a second. Let's start talking about the negatives. The primary negative of the Pebble Mouse is ergonomics. If you're looking for an ergonomic mouse, honestly, just keep looking. In order to use this, unless you've got very small hands, you're gonna wind up with some sort of a fingertip grip or potentially dragging your hand on the table behind it. Either way, not great for ergonomics, so keep that in mind. The second negative is sort of the flip side of the simplicity here, and that's that there's literally no bells and whistles when it comes to this mouse. And the number one thing that stands out for me there is a lack of a forward and back button on the side. I've been using mice with these buttons for a very long time, so in testing this, that was the one thing that I kept looking for that wasn't there. The third thing is that this mouse has changed over time and might cause a little bit of confusion as you can still find different versions of the mouse available today. So let's roll through them real quick. First, this mouse started out as the M340, which is actually this one here. It looks identical, but this one's several years old. This was originally part of a bundle with a keyboard and you can still honestly find the Pebble mouse paired with keyboards very often. The original M340 was USB dongle only for connectivity. So they included a USB dongle and that was the only way to connect it. Then they decided to rebrand that M340 mouse as the Pebble Mouse. And when they did the Pebble Mouse, they changed it to M350. They added one really important update here in that they added Bluetooth. So in addition to an included dongle, you could also use Bluetooth. That's the version I have here today. But then they go even a step further, and now they have the Pebble Mouse 2, which they've named the M350S. S typically means silent clicks, but every one of these versions has silent clicks, so ignore that. The difference with the Pebble Mouse 2, though, is that instead of a single Bluetooth and USB dongle, they switch it to their multi-device technology. This means that you can connect to up to three devices over Bluetooth and toggle between them on a button on the bottom of the device. In addition to that, they remove the USB dongle, but make it compatible with the Logi Bolt USB dongle. So if you already have one of those, or if you're willing to spring the extra 15 or so dollars to get that, you could still have USB connectivity and you can switch between them. So it's very confusing and I don't want you to get lost, but hopefully that summary gave you an idea one of the cons here, which is make sure if you're just buying a Pebble Mouse, you know which one of those three you're actually getting so that you can connect it in the way that you hope. Next, this mouse should last you a very long time, but one important call out is that my old white M340 
is about three or four years old and there is a lot of yellowing on the rubber scroll wheel. And so keep that in mind that over time you might see some degradation. However, I'm hoping that that's been resolved in some of the later versions. Finally, I told you that this was a great travel mouse with one caveat, and the Achilles heel of this mouse, in my opinion, is actually the top. It's an elegant design and it's really satisfying to use, but if you're traveling with this regularly and you're gonna toss this into a bag, it pops off way too easily. And the last thing you wanna do with a travel mouse is find it in pieces, potentially break this top plastic part, lose your battery, lose your USB dongle, anything. Any one of those scenarios are not great when you're traveling. So really, I think this is a great travel mouse, but it has to be one that you're gonna take good care of. You're gonna have a dedicated spot to put it, or you're gonna put it in some sort of a tech pouch or something like that as you travel. If you can do those things, I think this is a fantastic travel mouse. But if you're somebody that has a big open bag and you like to toss things into it, this might not be your best option. If you want to keep the Logitech Pebble Mouse safely at home on your desk, or if you're not concerned about the caveats I laid out as it relates to travel, then I think this is a really good option. It goes for $30, but you can often find it on sale. It's simple, clean, elegant, and very quiet. And it's got good connectivity, as long as you get the right version. What do you think of the Pebble Mouse? Let me know down in the comments. If you're interested in picking one up for yourself, there's some links in the description. And while you're down in that area, there's a like button and a subscribe button if you enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.